What is going on YouTube? It is Default Band-Aid, and in this video I'm going to be getting the Zatanna character in challenge mode. There is currently th two more days left to get this character. That's her effects, if you're looking. Base stats are kind of oddly numbered, but I don't know. I was never a super big fan of this character, but I was like, eh, why not? Why don't I just do this? So I'm just going to stack a bunch of bronze characters on here, and then... This video is going to be pretty short. I'm just going to do this and then I'll probably do a little bit of gameplay in the second level of the challenge mode after I be this. So it shouldn't take too long. So that was pretty easy, and we got a bunch of power credits for that. What did I get? Deathstroke, alright, cool. Harley Quinn must be on your team. Alright, well that shouldn't be too hard. Let's just toss Harley Quinn on there, and be a total jerk, and just toss on... Let's do Injustice Batman, I don't really use him that often. Or Injustice Batman, wow. Insurgency Batman, I mean. My mistake. Alright, so I'm just gonna cut right through these guys. I was hoping to use the launch kick on this guy, but maybe not. Yep. Okay. So that's the end of that battle, and now we should get our 15 thousand power credits and there they are okay now only bronze and silver characters are allowed on your team okay well that shouldn't be too hard let's just toss on cyborg bane and just to make things quick i'll toss on sinestro i'd normally use my green lantern but i don't use sinestro that much besides if they tag out that'll just make it easier for me to win so And yeah, if you didn't believe that I don't use Sinestro, I only have one power bar unlocked, and I'm pretty sure he's like level 18 or something, so that just proves my point. Matter of fact, Cyborg's probably stronger than him anyway. And I'll just use my finisher move. It's my ultimate on him. Okay, so now we should get a silver card, yeah, silver card. Solomon Grundy, okay, that's cool. Bane must be on my team, well, Bane is on my team, so. It's gonna be a mega jerk face, and toss on that Bane. Toss on Shazam, and let's just do, like, let's do Batman. And this should take no time at all. His damage isn't quite as overpowered as my Doomsday, but it's pretty close. So now I should be able to get that gold card and show you guys what that card's like. And I am leveling up that Shazam as promised. So that's kind of like a little update. I wonder why the base stats on here are different. That's weird. Whatever. Uh, let's do the challenge again. This time, I'm going to do challenge 5, just so you can see that the base stats are much higher. So, I'm just going to use Silver Black Adam, because, to be completely honest, I'm not going to need any of the support. So, put Silver Black Adam on there, as well as the card I just got. And then... 
let's just, I don't want anything too overpowered because I want you to see. Uh, whatever, let's just use the Joker. I'm not going to use Doomsday for this one. And I'm just going to do like three battles of this to show you what um, what that card is useful for, I guess. Now, for me, every different character that you can play as has like a different play style. So for me, when I play as the Joker, I always, almost always go a little bit more risky and take shots at the enemy that I normally wouldn't. And that's because when he dies, for almost every single Joker, this is the case, something negative happens to your opponent. So I'm going to do that right now. Use my acid flower. Let's do that again. Satana real quick. Okay, no, or not. <laughs> yeah, Satana can't even be used in this battle at all. Oh, and this brings me to a point that I was going to touch on in another video, but I guess I can at least talk about it here. Um, you're going to want to have a different setup on online mode for defending than you would attacking. And that basically means when you are leaving the game unattended and you have that group of three characters you don't want to just leave that as the same characters that you'd normally run while you're going all offensive and the reason for that is because at least in my mind you probably want to limit how many points other people can get especially get from you that way you won't be moved down the leaderboard so fast if you don't play online so in my opinion killer frost is perfect for that because not only does she have a ton of health, but she has an active trait that actually slows down enemy attacks and makes it so they cannot regenerate power. So that's obviously super helpful if you're trying to defend, as opposed to someone like maybe the Joker, where you basically focus on attacking as much as you can since something bad happens to the enemy if they attack you anyway and kill you. So some other examples that would be good for defensive characters are uh, pretty much any Red Sun character. It's very defensive. They generally have a whole lot of health. And John Stewart Green Lantern. Uh, any Black Adam characters that have those little orbs that go around them and make it so they can't attack. Or um, even... Um, uh, what's his name? Even um, Rebirth uh, Flash. Because last I checked, his active ability is that he sometimes can counter your special attacks. And that's obviously super helpful too. So you're going to want to keep that in mind when you're setting up a defensive team for Injustice. So I'm just going to do this fight and then I'll end the video. Shouldn't take too much longer. If you think that Superman's a, the Prison Break Superman is a really great character just because he regenerates health, you're wrong. He has some of the worst base stats of any Superman in the game. Actually, I'm pretty sure he has the worst out of all of them. But I'm going to pause the game. That way you can at least see what this looks like. It sets that your enemies on fire, by the way. I'm out. And not so much of this Black Adam, but the gold Black Adam that you can get. Um, you get them from, I think it's like one of the, it's one of the, uh, the story mode stages. You'll get him. And he's really helpful for blocking special attacks because it actually reflects the special attack times two damage, I believe. So let's say they use like, um, okay, let's just say that. Solomon Grundy uses that cleaver spin attack, and it does 5,000 damage. If you have Black Adam out, and he has his orbs up, and then they attack, it's going to reflect back 
10,000 damage to Solomon Grundy, so that's super helpful, but that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I might do this challenge difficulty on Expert, and I'll probably show you how to set up a good online team in the next video. If you like this video at any time, feel free to like and sub. See ya.